Hello and welcome to the Bristol Ensemble. I hope you're keeping well and safe wherever you might be. I know we have a quite an international audience um, and not least somebody who I know is probably looking in at the moment from Trinidad. So we are quite international for people who are joining us for these uh, lovely at-home recitals. Um, I think last week I said some had arrived in, in Bergen and in Norway where we are broadcasting from, uh, where I am, and uh, we've had a lovely week again of weather and that made us decide or inspired us a little bit to try and get away this weekend. And we saw an advert in the paper for a hotel on a little island just north of Bergen called Osterøy about an hour's drive. We thought, well, that'd be lovely to get away. We've been stuck in Bergen for three months and be nice to, you know, socialise a little bit with uh, with everybody at the hotel. So we, we decided to book in for this uh, beautiful hotel, we arrived and uh, discovered we were the only people that had booked in. So it was a 70 bed or 70 room hotel and uh, we had the whole thing to ourselves in grand isolation. So, but I have to say it was an absolutely fantastic um, place, uh, place to live, uh, to stay for a couple of nights, and the nature was amazing as well. So it was a glorious, uh, glorious experience. So anyway, I'm I'm rabbiting on as usual, and I think it's probably time now. I know Emil. Hockelcleave and Emil Duncan are waiting in Oslo to provide you with a beautiful recital. Beethoven, some Schubert and Ponce, uh, arranged by Heifetz. So without further ado, I shall now send you uh, over to Oslo and we will have live um, recital from Emil and Emil duo. Hello, welcome to the Bristol Ensemble at home. Today's recital will be given by myself and pianist Emil Duncan, and will be performing works by Beethoven, Schubert and Ponce. We start with Beethoven and his Sonata No. 1 in D major. Now this is an early work of Beethoven and he wrote this probably uh, around the same time he was studying with Joseph Haydn in uh, Vienna. Now um, Haydn and Beethoven didn't always get along, famously. Um, there's a, a, even a story that uh, Haydn suggested uh, in order to, to try and help Beethoven's career, he should write in one of his pieces, written by Beethoven, pupil of Joseph Haydn. Now, uh, Beethoven being the, the cantankerous personality he was, took great offence to this and didn't like it at all. Um, however, they, I mean... Um, by all accounts, Beethoven had much respect for Haydn throughout his life. Um, and Haydn obviously had a great deal of influence on him musically. The other person, of course, in, in Vienna at the time, uh, who was uh, well known, was Mozart. And Beethoven loved Mozart's uh, music and uh, was very inspired by it. And I think in the, these early works, you can really hear this, um, this, this inspiration both in the in the, the musical language and the structure that is written, uh, the chosen to write the works in. The second movement of this sonata is the theme of variations, which is extremely similar to to uh, some chamber works I can think of written by Haydn and Mozart. Uh, the third movement is a rondo, where the theme keeps reappearing. Again, very very classical um, in in structure and in 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 um, expression. A lot of humour and charm. So, without further ado, we'll play the, the first sonata by Beethoven. We start with an Allegro con brio, then there's theme and variations, and to finish with the rondo. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the Beethoven. Now we move on to Schubert and um, his relationship with Beethoven is, is actually it's unclear if they ever met even. Uh, but when Schubert came onto the scene in Vienna, Beethoven was really the, 
the the, the big name, and he he kind of taken over the mantle from Mozart in a way. Um, and Schubert really he idolized uh, Beethoven, um, and was a big fan of his music. And it's, but it's also clear that Beethoven um, was aware of Schubert's songs. Was these these are the ones that were published during Beethoven's lifetime, lifetime, and and really took a liking to them. Um, there are various stories that, that you know that Schubert um, visited Beethoven on his deathbed, and even even carried the coffin in his funeral. Um, whether it's true or not is is very very unclear. But um, but yeah, the Schubert songs were really caught Beethoven's Beethoven's ear. Um, and so we'll play you probably one of his most famous songs, uh, Stenchen. Uh, this has been arranged by violinist Misha Elman. Hope you enjoy. Thank you, hope you enjoy the Schubert. Uh, we'll finish the program now with a, a lovely Mexican love song. 
uh, by Ponce. I think that's how I pronounce it. Ponce? Ponce? Who knows? Um, this is piece... Is or is it classical? Is... Who? <laughs> <laughs> if anyone knows, please comment. Um, this uh, is called uh, Estrelita, and it's arranged for violin and piano by uh, Yasha Heifetz. Thank you so much, Emil Amir. That was a fantastic uh, recital. Thanks so much for that. Um, really enjoyed the variation of the music there. Brilliant. Thank you. And now um, we are going to be looking forward to next week's recital, which is on Sunday at the earlier time of five o'clock, actually. And the program is going to be a film music program. So we've got uh, Paul R. Israel, who will be playing the piano and be joined by uh, Bima and myself as well on violin and we've got a lovely program of pieces from famous films Schindler's List, Cinema Paradiso, um, Godfather theme it should be a beautiful theme of course uh, and The Pianist, there's a beautiful Chopin Nocturne that was used very much in The Pianist and Out of Africa theme as well so do join us there, that will be the, the earlier time, an hour earlier um, Five o'clock uh, UK time next Sunday, that's the 21st of June, and we look forward to seeing you there. Again, thank you so much, Emil Amir. That was a wonderful recital today. Really enjoyed it. Uh, very classy, and uh, wish you all success with your duo, because it was fantastic playing together. Really wonderful. Okay, everybody take care. I hope you enjoy the week ahead, and we look forward to seeing you again on next Sunday, 21st at 5 o'clock. Bye for now.